Alright, so this is what you're going to need to get started making your vintage frame. A frame, paint, a paintbrush, an image, scissors, and sandpaper. Okay, so before doing any painting, make sure you take out the glass because you definitely don't want to get any paint on that. And if you're wondering where to get a cheap frame, go ahead and check out your local thrift store because I went to mine and got this for about 50 cents. So you're going to want to begin by applying a thin coat of paint all over the frame. The paint I used is Americana Decor Chalky Finish in the color Refreshing. I just chose it because it has a nice matte finish with a chalky texture. Okay, so once you're sure that you've gotten paint in all the little nooks and crannies, go ahead and let it dry for about 15 minutes before adding the second coat. Okay, then you want to make sure your frame is completely dry before you start sanding it. And I would just go around the edges and the little details where the frame would have, you know, had some paint chipping if it was an actual vintage frame. And remember, you can always sand more off, but you can't really paint more back on without it looking weird. So, yeah, just use caution. Once your frame is looking pretty good, go ahead and cut out your picture. I found mine by searching for free vintage printables on Pinterest, and it took me to this woman's blog. She had tons of cool printables, so if you guys want to check it out, I'll link it down below. This last part is completely optional. I was just noticing that the picture was pretty flimsy, so I glued it onto some cardstock because I thought it would make it sit nicer in the frame. Okay, so after that, go ahead and put in your glass and then put in your picture. And then you can go ahead and close it on up because you have your very nice, distressed, vintage-looking frame. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you have any ideas for any future tutorials, let me know. And thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.